Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Achille Agway in Milford, and I'm joined by Margaret Hagen from UNH Cooperative Extension. And Margaret, something that's become very popular recently, a lot of people are keeping their own chickens now. They are. But I would imagine one of the things here in wintertime that chickens don't deal with very well is the cold. That's true. <laughs> so what do, what do I do? Well, in the state of New Hampshire, um, there's really no reason that you need to heat a chicken coop. Um, because if you have a well-constructed chicken coop with good ventilation um, and um, no drafts, you really don't have to heat. You don't have to heat and you don't have to light, um, although some people believe that you do. Okay, so if I decide though, I maybe it's not as well-constructed, but I wanna get some heat in there, what do I do? Or well, what's the first thing is you really can't have drafts in the roosting area because it will leach um, the warm air in their feathers away from them and that's not a good thing but one of the things if you want to heat you can put in although I don't recommend it necessarily heat lamps or a small heater or something but you need to have a generator for when the power goes off because chickens don't deal well with really sudden drops in temperature. Now every animal needs water right. and in New Hampshire in the wintertime water freezes so right. I guess we have a solution here. huh? So again if you have electricity you can have a heated waterer. Um, I don't have electricity so what I use is a smaller water and I fill it in the morning and I go out about one or two o'clock on really cold days and change the water so it's not frozen. Chickens need water to regulate their body temperature among other things so that's important. What about is there any sort of special food that I need in wintertime as opposed to summertime or things like that? You don't really need any special food but because it is cold on really cold days I will put out a little bit of scratch which is basically cracked grains like corn and oats. I'll put it out early in the morning to help get their system moving yeah. Okay. And I'll put a lot, little out just before sunset in the afternoon again to give them that extra protein to get through the night. Now, what, something I haven't seen right next to it before, and, and I guess this kind of gives the chickens something to do or what? <laughs> <laughs> well, if chickens get bored, um, they will tend to peck at each other a little bit. So I tend to put out um, things like cabbage they can peck at. Um, this is another solution. It's called a flock block. And you can leave it where they can come get food a little bit at their own pace if you don't have a feeder that's going all the time. Or if you can't get out to the coop for some reason, this is a good thing to have. And UNH just happens to put out one of those handy dandy fact, fact sheets, sheets as well, right? Right, on winter care chickens. So you can go to the website or call the um, info line. All right, and keep your chickens healthy all year long. That's it for today's Grow It Green.